Anyway, now we're going to do sports and we're looking at amputee football. And just like any other sport in this country, apart from football and specifically the national team, we don't really pay attention to the other sports. So we call them the lesser known sports. But I think they're just less funded sports. I refuse to call them lesser known sports. If you take the Black Challengers, for instance, that's the name of the national amputee football team, um, they have been crying for a very long time. They are ill-resourced, nobody pays attention, patronage is poor, and they are presently preparing for the fourth Cup of Nations for amputee football. Uh, they call it the fourth Cana 2013, and it's scheduled to take place in Kenya um, from November 22 to uh, November 30. And the Black Challenge, this is the sixth best team in the world, they have stepped up their non-residential training regime as they look forward to annexing the cup. They narrowly missed at the third Kana held in Accra in 2011. Well, I've got three gentlemen here with me to take us through the discussion here. Reverend Amate Adesa is chairman of the Ghana Amputee Football Association. Good to see you. And then Richard... Um, oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Richard Opaintel is the captain of the team. Good to see you. And then Ali Jara is the head coach. Good to see you, Ali Jara. How are you doing? Fantastic. It's good to see all of you, by the way. Um, let me start with you. Why do they have challenges, the national amputee the side? Thank you very much, Nana, and uh, good morning to your viewers. Um, I think you hit the nail right on the head when you were doing the introduction. Um, we called other sports, apart from the national team, we know the Black Stars as a lesser known sport. I disagree. Um, so we share the same stance? Sure, okay. I disagree. Um, the reason being that um, the word you use should have been the word less, lesser finance uh, sports. And it will interest you to know that moon, many of the uh, such teams or disciplines are doing well. Um, even than what we think uh, <laughs> we know. I don't want to talk too much the about Black that. Stars. It's okay to say. All right. Uh -huh. um, on the continent of Africa, now the by rating, the the Ghana Amputee Football is the number one on the continent of Africa, and then uh, in the world, as you said, number six. six. So if you say less unknown, uh, we don't know about what we have in our country, and it's known on the continent, and it's known in the world. <laughs> You see, come to think of it, I, I think that we need to change our way of thinking. Now, we, I think um, while the amputee football has challenges, is uh, something I want to call deliberate by, by the, the, the uh, authorities. Uh, Which authorities? I'm talking about uh, the ministry, talking about the, the sports council and the other, you know, uh, people who should you know, help to promote it because they are aware of these records you're talking about. Um, and then if we are not doing anything to sort of uh, encourage, motivate them, uh, for them to be able to uh, excel in the area, I think it's, it's, it's something I want to see as deliberate. Um, the tournament that we are preparing to uh, take part in Kenya, the trophy at stake, was donated by the ex-president of this country, the, uh, His Excellency uh, Professor John Vasata Mills, with his name on it, on the trophy, you know. So there's every reason for you to win Of that course, cup. yes, there's, free, there's every reason. We, I mean, we don't have any excuse to say we're going to leave that cup for some other country to this Okay, game. let me come to the captain of the team. Um, the officials, like him, can go on and on and talk about your problems, but you're the one in it. You're the one who bear the brunt. So t tell us, um, what do you think should be done to make your game more attractive? Thank you very much for the question. Yeah, I think, as we all know, Ghana here, there are certain sports uh, areas that our people are very... Uh, they really rally their support behind those sports because they really love it. But talking about football in general, football is football. Whether I'm putty soccer, Igbo soccer, football is the fat. They all use football as 
the, 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 the fact of the game. But I think uh, disability and uh, uh, to become an amputated is not anybody's lot. Everyone can be amputated. You understand? But when, whenever sports is, uh, sports is the fact, whether able sports or amputee soccer or disabled sports, uh, the support that it needs to be given to able sports needs to be given to amputee sports. So far as the nation is at, it's in concern, because whenever we are going to play tournament, we stand in for the nation. We don't stand in for. So you want a fair provision of. Fair provision of, yes. provision of resources. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you are based in Turkey, yes. if I'm right. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at Turkey and Ghana. What is Turkey doing right, and what are we not doing right? Turkey, for instance, uh, every player that plays in the amputee uh, Premier League in Turkey has uh, this thing. Companies have adopted uh, a strategy that in Turkey, when when you are a company, you need to give ten percent vacancy. <coughs> To people with uh, amputation or disability, you understand. Okay. I think they adopted that and uh, it's working for them. Because in, in the sports, they don't really their uh, sponsorship is not as compared to able football. Mm -hmm. So with working with working in different companies, uh, as far as the player is in concern, he gets at the end of every month he gets allowance from there, and then the teams that he plays. Okay. He also gets small, small allowances. So I think with that, it makes living there very good for people with disability. Okay. Now, uh, let's, come, let's settle on football. Um, for instance, if the Black Stars are going to play, even months before the play or weeks before the play, excitement and preparations reaches fever pitch. But for you, nobody even knows that there is um, a tournament just around the corner. Does it depress you, you and your mates? Yeah, for myself and my mates, uh, we've made our mind that our life should be a blessing to both our family, the society, and Ghana as a whole. It's like a game, it's amputee soccer. And we are the people who play. Do they pay you well when you win? Your winning bonus? Thank you, you're here in Ghana. No, in Ghana. Hmm. I think so far we've played two international tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three international tournaments. The last one was the African tournament. As we are speaking now, we've not received anything as a monetary reward or nothing. Nothing? Nothing. As we are speaking now. Even that, that but, one... But that usually, what do you take for winning bonus? How much? <laughs> With that side, it's something. I think, like, I, like I, I said, we want to use our lives to be a blessing. Blessing to, to others. Because so money is not really an issue for you? It's an issue, but... It's not coming. What will you do? You need, you need to still press on. Okay, let me talk to Ali Jara. You played, you know, so well for Ghana until, of course, you, you had um, an issue at some point, so you had to take a backstage. And then you're with this national amputee team as the head coach, and you're seeing them go through a phase that is not news. It's quite synonymous with the society we live in. How do you think we can make the team or the, the game, you know, attractive and attract the right patronage? When I say attractive, that's, that's what I mean. Uh, well, before I come to your point, I chose to be an amputee coach because uh, when your people judge you based on your inability, and I take it upon myself to be with them to prove to people that, yes, we can. Of course, disability is not inability. Yes. Yeah. So, two, I came to them as a brand to help them push to the next level. Mm. That's the main idea. But whilst everything is not coming, we are still fighting. How One are you fighting? True, we don't, we can't, we don't have the means of go on the street to fight, but we can prove to people that we can do it. That's what we are doing. In the world, Ghana has been the only club to win a match in the world level. Only nation to win a match 
we are not talking about going to the quarter final over 20 clubs so before you reach quarter final you need to play six matches ghana has been the african country since i've the I'm only african them. country that yes. has won since i'm with them we've been two World Cups. all the two we've been in the quarter final we played in the afcon that was last year we were in the final we were beating narrowly by the penalties so we are proving the point in the world we are set in africa we are first so this shows we can do it uh, but despite these interesting statistics you're putting out um support has been very little or non-existent almost why is it so because uh, people choose not to bother they knew what to do but they don't want to do it because they don't want to you can't force them to do it but it's good to come to their aid when you watch amputee soccer when you go to I've the watched world one world. before very very interesting you know at some point my mm -hmm. my heart was mm -hmm. beating that are mm -hmm. they okay mm -hmm. you know it, it's quite scary yeah, yeah. Do, do you get scared on the pitch i mean i know you have fun doing it but when you sit back and you're watching oh yeah when you love what you are doing you don't get scared okay and two amputees is not a contact sport yes you're playing with your, with your brain, brain. Absolutely. So you need a certain level of intellect yes. to play in the... Uh, so you are going to Kenya um, between um, 22nd and 30th uh, November to participate in this um, tournament. Um, what are your expectations? Uh, my expectation is that uh, the whole Ghana will rally their support, being financially, morally and spiritually behind us because we are a national team. And uh, going to uh, Kenya we are going for the trophy. That's our biggest uh, target. Because I think we need to lift this trophy to prove a point. You must. It's a must. You must. It's a must. Okay, let me come to the chairman. What preparations have you put in place for them? Well, um, so far we have submitted our uh, budget to you know, the authorities. We are praying and expecting Are you going that. to get the money? Hopefully. I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. But uh, the, the, the question is, um, we look at the time, you understand, and it has always been like that, that when it comes to the amputees uh, looking for support for tournament like this, it has to be as if begging, okay. crying here and there, which shouldn't be. It's almost as if we're doing them it a favor. It shouldn't be. I used the word when I was, you know, starting the, the discussion that it's, 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 I see it as something that is deliberate. If I want to explain that, what I mean is that now we, we watch or we were, we are around, we saw that of the black stars. Uh, when they the, walloped Egypt. Exactly. And uh, before that, you know, motivation is good. Mm -hmm. motivation. Oh, you want to talk about the $15,000? Yes. Um, you do. Uh, and you saw the results. Okay. And we, we, we all need to be motivated. Yeah. So I believe that whoever, you know, uh, supported the national team, um, I heard GMPC did uh, do some top up. Uh, or the, how, how much are we talking about here to be able What's to What's your take, budget? Uh, 80000 Cities? $80,000. $80,000. Yes. I mean, you know, should be able to, you know, uh, take care of the... Well, considering the, the their success, that's actually small. We, it's well, not too much. Well, when you take more, uh, you may rather be, you know, <laughs> be disappointed. You know? So we are, we are, we are careful in, in, in doing that. But uh, even this, uh, the 80,000 we're talking about, um, we are not uh, hearing anything yet. And I want to use this medium to appeal to uh, the authorities and uh, to our president. To His Excellency John Domani Mahama. I was in the pre a stadium when the president, you know, came out of his busy schedule. That was a very good move the president did by coming himself to motivate the boys, and that's very good. You mean but the Black Stars? The Black Stars, yeah. Right. But I, I, I think that this. You expect our, him to do it across ex the board. Ex exactly. They are also Ghanaians. They are also Ghanaians. And I think that the ultimate is that as we help these ones, as we motivate them, others who are on the streets begging. We we'll begin what to say, it? look here, if I have one hand, one leg, I can also do something for life. Let me come to Ali Jara uh, briefly. Um, 
people would say there's a general insensitivity in this country uh, when it comes to issues of disability. You have experienced it um, when you got paralyzed um, almost a decade or 20 years ago. 20, 20. 20 years ago, um, I mean, the 20th anniversary is somewhere next week? Yeah, 20, ne 20 next, Thursday. next Thursday. Okay, so for 20 years, and you saw the way uh, interest, the interest, the general interest in you winged with time until such time that you had to take matters into your own hands to get uh, money for yourself. Do you see that reflecting in this team that we really don't care once you're disabled, we, we can't be bothered? That's why I'm so glued to them. Because society neglects you, which shouldn't be so. After all you did for us. Yes. And not me, we are not born like this. We are not born like this. So if we are doing something for the nation, at least the nation must recognize us because we, do, we are doing something. When we traveled, we stand as ambassadors. We raise the flag of Ghana high. So we stand in the name of Ghana. Ghana. When something happens, it happens in the name of the nation, not we individuals. I played all the football in the world, but I played for the nation. Yes. When walking on the street and you didn't point at me, this is the man who plays for the nation. It ends where I stopped. So they need to be at least looked at. See that where we can win glory to the nation must be looked at. I don't see that anything at all. Eighty thousand dollars is peanut for the ministries. Peanut. Helping these boys, they will go in and come back, and the airport will be full. But whilst we are moving across, nobody cares. It has been there. I've been with them for four years. You're doing very well, I must say. Um, for those who don't know, I've, in fact, our goalkeeper came from, he trained our keeper. You want to tell them about it? <laughs> A lot of goalkeepers who have been through my academy. I think from Kote Blansin, who played for Starless Satellites, Kujuado, uh, Filimo Makati, even Samia J wasn't from the academy. But reviving of Samia J, I got him up. Joseph from Mediema, who got his leg broken, I brought him up and he's now with Mediema. So a lot of goalkeepers. Even Ole Le, when he came back from Europe, that's training very trained. With, with you. you. You've done remarkably well. You know, you, you are just what I talked about earlier, that disability is not inability. You've gone on to do an academy and you're helping just about everybody. Let me come to you, the captain of the team. Um, so if this $80,000 your chairman talked about does not come at all, would you be um, demoralized? I would a little bit demoralized, but it won't be the end for us. You, you must be used to it in this country. Yeah, yeah. Well, we believe there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And wherever in life, wherever you, any situation you find yourself in, you need to, it's a mindset. You need to uh, advise yourself, psych yourself up. Because you are the only person who is facing that challenge. And you are the only person who can get out of that challenge successfully. That's so, true. Yeah. yeah. Um, your last words. Well, I think that uh, something can be done about this as a nation. Um, we look at them as challenge, but uh, so many things are challenging our country. I mean, and um, I believe Well, I remember uh, this favorite quote of mine from Walt Disney. Yeah. He says that everybody, each and every one of us, is just five minutes away from an accident that could mar us forever. That is true. Yeah. And you ask, so I was on this uh, medium some time ago and we were talking about the statistics. And it's about 94% of them are due to road accidents. Yeah. Say, like, like Ali said, they were not born like this. And uh, who knows? Uh, it is just by the grace of God that those of us who think we are working on our two legs and having two hands, uh, we continue to pray for the grace to be abundant on us. 
And I said I think something can be done about it, and I want to appeal to the uh, leadership of this nation and uh, people in authority that uh, I believe this is also in, even in a way a form of employment, you understand? Yeah. Yeah, and I tell you... It from will deal a lot with the hawkers and the... The street begging sure, we see sure, every time. Sure. Do you know that in the schools we have, I have done some search now, and I have about a whole team under 17, 14, 15, uh, 12 years who are amputees in the schools. You know, and I believe that when these ones are encouraged and they see them playing, they also begin to say, hey, look, yeah, well, yeah. There's, there's a hope for You'll tomorrow aspire, and I aspire definitely. to do something. So I want to uh, appeal to our leaders to try and do something about it. Uh, let's give them, let's encourage them. Corporate institutions can at least adopt, you, you know, uh, how many are we? And uh, it, it will go a long way to, to help and uh, it will increase uh, the employment, job or employment opportunities for these ones. As well. Thank you very much. But Ali Jara, I must say that your prediction for the Black Stars actually came uh, to pass. I was so surprised at the stadium. Uh, he actually predicted that we we're going to win by a very large margin, and we definitely did. So Lily wasn't really a bad call up. After all, he didn't play anyway. Yes, but then, you yeah, you did. Because being inclusive doesn't mean he's going Good to be start. number one. And I want to congratulate them too. Yeah. And then ask the players to, I mean, they can also come back and help. Yeah, yes, that's uh, true. Uh, absolutely. Not amount is more. Yes. Sorry? No two amount is more. Yes. Yeah. So, Captain Asamajan, whoever you are, you're in your Not team. just them. Uh, all of them. Asamoah, Suley, Essie, and all of them. All of them. Yeah, Camp definitely. And, and apart well, from so. that, that would be charity. But there is an institution that is mandated to help these people. That's the Ministry of Sports, the National Sports they call themselves an authority now. They're not living up to what authorities do anyway, but I'll still call you a national sports authority. You need to help them. You need to give them the money that is due them. It's just not fair.